Hey family, we're out and we're in the stretch of another video. Okay, we're going to be talking about Kenya Moore. Yes, her and Claudia Jordan over there at Fox Soul teaming up together and having a little talky talk about whether her and Mark are going to get back together and other things that they want to talk about on the show. Let me see if I can get it to play before we get into the commentary that Celebrity Insider Hair brought out on this particular um dialogue that she was doing over at fox so um claudia jordan with kenya moore okay hold on Okay, so the twirlers, you see what I'm saying? She wanted to throw shade at somebody just for the simple fact she was hosting stuff. So in the local news, you're going to see that person who's hosting a big event get the publicity. But she was mad at Claudia Jordan throwing her shade like, I know who he is, but I ain't finna give you no shine. Move on, peasant. And she was mad at her because what? What? Because she was Miss USA and she wanted to be known. See, that's what I'm saying. Narcissist behavior. Team twirl. Narcissist behavior. But anyway, let's get on into the story that Ricky Mathers or Mathers had put out uh, for her uh, boss. I guess you would say she's working over there for, Le for Celebrity Insight. I guess she's a correspondent or a freelancer journalist. And she put her topical, 
or named her article, uh, article Kenya Moore calls out her Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars for playing games and justifies bringing a cookie lady to the brunch. Now, I'm just going to say, woo child, that would have been something if Tanya would have found the lady that Kenya was saying was having an affair with her husband and didn't want to get him up. Girl... Because she's still trying to justify her actions that she was right on bringing the cookie later. And then still trying to throw Cynthia on the bus that she had something to do with it as well. But uh, she even told um, Cynthia on one of the episodes of season 12. She just got mad and threw her on the bus because she should have told her that she had talked to the cookie lady behind her back. Now what kind of shit is that? What kind? It's like can you go tit for tat? And like she says if you come for her... Uh, depending on how you come for her, she's going to come back double the time on how you came for her. You come with a, what do you call it, a, 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 a 45 pistol. She coming with a, a AKA, or not a damn AKA, or AK, well, 40, y'all know what I'm talking about, one of them soldier type guns, a AK-40 or something like that. But she's coming with the big guns, in other words. But anyway, going back to the article. It states, Kenya Moore is the villain of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She says that people may not like her because she keeps it real, unlike some of her co-stars. Okay, so who is she trying to say not keeping stuff real? All right, I would think you would not be keeping stuff real because we still ain't seen your marriage license, Kenya Moore. All right. <sighs> but anyway, that's another whole story for another whole video. Going back to the article, it said in a recent interview with Claudia Jordan's show on Fox Soul, Kenya said that her castmates get together and fake friendships around what makes them more popular. It is smarter, honestly, to pretend to be someone's friend, pretend not to have a beef with someone, brush it over. A lot of girls do that because they play to the fans. They uh, they go, uh, what would make me more popular or most popular oh well what would make me people women or what would make me yes yeah, right she, she wrote, worded it wrong what would make me people like me the most okay or i should be friends with this one or i should make up with that one so what is she trying to talk about nene making up with all these girls and these girls threw nene up under the bus at one time and then at the end of season 12 they caught it so want to uh get back with nene oh that's just a, a play move that's a power move can you you should have thought about that but you thought everybody's gonna ride your coattail or ride on your bus toward to the end <laughs> that mm -mm, that didn't happen honey but anyway going back to the article uh okay uh who has the most instagram followers okay who likes who at the moment i should go ahead and be friends with them that's the kind of games the people that's the kind of games they play on our show. Okay, she went on to say that the producers know nothing about it because the girls get together without the showrunners and plot on their next moves. When you've been veterans on the show for 10, 12 years, you start playing a lot of games. Guess she talking about Nene. Probably talking about you too, Cynthia, honey. And she probably talking about you too, Candy. Mm -hmm. Read between the lines. That's all I got to say. But going back to the article, it says the girls who are real, like myself, unfortunately, I just have to be honest. Kenya, there's not an honest bone in your body, girl. Well, that's another day and another video. Okay. Uh, going back to the article, it says many commentators who saw the clip on a on a Housewives fan page, took it as shade towards Nene Leakes and Portia Williams' reunion. Uh, another subject she mentioned was her infamous cookie lady debacle, where she invited a woman who said that Tanya Sam's man was flirting with her to brunch uh, with Tanya and the other ladies. She called out fans for bashing her when she said that Sam was the one in the wrong for starting with her by talking about her hairpiece. No, Kenya, you was in the wrong. Just my perspective. You should have told people when you set out a beauty line of hair care products, you should make it up front known that you wear hair pieces on the side as well. It's nothing against um, your hair brand or any other person's hair brand of um, featuring and fostering true health care. A, a good quality health care when you're protecting your hair. Now, you're in the limelight, so you're going to have to have and perform many different hairstyles on your natural hair being covered up with wigs and extensions and all this type of thing. 
That's suspected, but you should have put it out there in your statement. But you led us to believe the consumer of your products that you had and always do wear your real hair. You have nothing fraudulently on your scalp, but your God-given glory. Okay, but that wasn't true. So, yes, if Tanya wanted to be a little shady, she did that thing, okay? But the whole thing is, if you would have did it from the beginning, truthfully, she wouldn't have had nothing to come back to you to play up as a storyline, okay? And getting at your goat, which she did, and then you had to bring the quicker lady. But I was like, okay. However people want to see it, it was a, just a, a power move, and you were being fake, fraudulent, fuckery, and full of foolery when you did the stuff. And the two does not match up. It doesn't, okay? That's just my personal because it's like you're tearing down a man reputation. It ain't like you going just straight for uh, Tanya. You could have talked about her nursing. You could have talked about her tech business to uh, be in similarity when it came to you said she was bringing down your hair brand. You ain't have to go get Paul invested in this whole charade of some mess. He ain't do nothing to you. He ain't say nothing to you. He didn't come for you. So why did you come for him through Tanya to get just back at Tanya? Because you hit someone innocent. Like you said, you didn't want Nene talking about your child. But in Nene's defense, she said, yeah, she said it in the wrong way or word choices. But she was talking about you, about that buffalo thing. But you, you held on strong to that. So why wouldn't Tanya not want to patron anything with you? Because you came for her through her fiance that wasn't right so a spade is called a spade can you get into it but anyway um going back to the article said girl no what tanya did was not mean now we not now we not keep twirling this shit or twisting this shit someone showing a wig that you do wear is in no way tarnishing a hair care brand because all women wear protective styling nobody care what you did came from an evil place trying to destroy a home like stop now i totally agree with that comment and they were totally on point all right tanya talking about a wig and you trying to ruin her relationship will never be okay no matter how you flip it just own it and that's all she could have did just on her shit said it was wrong and damn she gotta stop coming for the family she just gotta stay focused on that person she's trying to hit it and and, and be in the range of hitting them hard where it hurts don't go for the family don't do that because she don't like nobody coming for brooklyn mark or her mother did she not say but she don't came for just about everybody <laughs> <laughs> who gets in her way all right but anyways asking what do you think about kenya moore's comments okay y'all already know how i feel about it it ain't nothing gonna change unless kenya change pretty much for the better and not the worst uh y'all get down in the comments what say you family on this particular article and as always Thank you for coming by, sharing your time with me. Don't forget to share my videos, like my videos, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Peace and blessings, and I'll see y'all next video.